Hello everyone and welcome to today's live stream. Today we're going to go through an interior rendering. We're going to go through the materials, we're going to go through the lighting, we're going to go through the composition, the visual settings and everything else that we need to in order to create uh, great looking renders. And as always, the first step is launching Enscape. So I'm going to press launch Enscape. First thing, I'm going to do the rendering quality up to ultra. I'm going to go to image. The sun brightness seems unreasonably high. And now I think we are a bit back to normal or at least closer to what it should be and i'm gonna set up the composition straight away so i'm probably gonna go for something like this right i think a composition like this would work well and in order to do that i'm first gonna go and select two point perspective i'm gonna decrease the field of view to something like 60 uh, not 140 but 60 uh, i'm gonna go a bit backwards i think 60 might be a bit too low let me go to field of view 70 all right, I think I'm going to keep the composition something like this. I'm going to go to visual settings once again. I'm going to go to sky and I think I'm immediately going to import a sky box or an HRI because I just think the sun coming in here uh, this strong doesn't do us a favor. I think um, it makes a bit. I'm going to use brightest point in some direction as well. And I'm going to leave it like this as of now. OK. Oh, also another thing for the composition, we're going to need to go to custom. Uh, resolution and I'm gonna set up 1080 by 1350 and I'm also gonna use the save frame tool what I'm gonna do is let me see if the actual curtains are set up if not I think I'm gonna need to take this off and I'm gonna go to cut out and I'm gonna import a texture well basically what this image does is basically shows Enscape where we want the transparency to be and where we do not want it to be so 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 i think i'm going to leave it like this and what i believe is the best next step here is we're going to need to set up the lighting so i'm going to go at the plus at the rectangle here let me use the rectangular tool here i'm gonna direct it onto the indoor and i'm going to put it right next to the windows i'm going to increase the width increase the length Minimize this screen. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go upwards a bit. And I'm also going to increase the luminous power. I don't think there's enough light coming in yet. I think this might be better, but I think sometimes what works even better is to move the lighting source in front of the curtain. Because as you can see, there's always going to be some weird shadows being casted in front of it. Uh, if you leave it behind it, I mean. So. Let me put the rectangular uh, light source here. Let me put it behind this cat. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna move this upwards and a bit to the left. Cool. Uh, well, no, now, now the shadows are even worse. Let's leave it like this for now. Okay, something like this. I'm gonna go to the visual settings once again and I'm gonna take off all the exposure. I'm gonna try to play around with the exposure a bit uh, maybe I'm, I do increase it a bit more. Let's go to the material editor. I'm gonna choose this fabric material. I'm gonna add a displacement map. I'm gonna use albedo and I'm going to decrease the displacement on the fabric. You're gonna see how much the AI tool improves the fabric as well. And I honestly cannot wait to try, maybe just do a draft image and see how much that improves it. So I'm just gonna do some minor improvements here and I'm gonna let AI do the rest. Uh, let's decrease this to like 30. Uh, let's increase the displace. Let's do a new displacement map, which uh, we are having to use an albedo because we do not have that for this exact uh, map here. But the reference seems way too low, so maybe we do 60. I think this might be a bit better. So let's do this here. And yeah, I think it's the same one. All right, uh, let me try another lighting configuration as well. I think that might help to improve the image too, because um, this light source somehow it is not looking the best. Maybe what I also have to do is do the auto contrast here and increase the saturation a bit and the color temperature maybe has to be a bit colder, I guess. Um, auto exposure doesn't look that good great like this hmm. all right let me tweak the let me tweak the rectangle blur light so i'm gonna 
take a screenshot of this and I'm gonna import it into AI in just a second and we're gonna see how well this will turn out. If you're wondering what AI tool this is, this is uh, crea.ai. So I actually have been using this for a few days now. Uh, not the longest amount of time, I kind of ignored it for a few days, but eventually I, I had an image where I thought I could see some improvement in it. Um, and that's basically what pushed me to try it out. And once I tried it, you know, I've, I've been using it for every single render ever since because it seems to improve every single render. There's some times where it makes the images a bit, uh, well, I mean, a bit weirder in the sense that you can tell that it's AI. But yeah, so you basically just take the render, we upload it, right? And we click enhance and we're gonna wait a few seconds we're gonna see how this turns out. Now, this is an experiment. I'm not sure how well it will turn out or if it will even work at this stage. But if it doesn't, then I mean, I'll just go back into the original workflow and maybe once we do more input to the actual render itself, then we move on to AI, right? So that's kind of my plan. Okay, so we have the before and after. So this is how the render was exported like from Enscape. And this is the after. <laughs> oh my God, look at this, look at this, wow there the the actual difference is huge 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 i cannot believe this this is actually insane like i don't know some textures do look ai generated and all that but you know this this whole workflow the file was a bit heavier but this whole workflow took less than 10 to 15 minutes right like imagine if um, the modeling gets somehow even faster with ai rendering is going to be a breeze like this image is very, very good. Like in my eyes, it's very good for the amount of time that we put into it. Like for me, this passes the test and <laughs> I wouldn't even spend more time doing anything like this, right? This is a 10 minute workflow. This literally took me from start to finish, not more than 10 minutes to render this out. Let me try a different angle as well, right? So, so I'm gonna go back to the sketcher file and let me go back to something like this, right? Not, I mean, even this one doesn't even have the lighting setup. Let me try. I don't know. Let's try something like this, right? I'm going to render this out and see how this will look. Uh, let me just just for for some extra work, right? This is just a bit uh, so it looks even better than it would look without this extra input, right? So let's just leave it like this. Let me increase the exposure a bit and yeah i mean i'm just gonna take a screenshot from this straight away let me import the next image here okay it's uploading okay so we have the results here so this is the before all right and let's see the after oh my god this is actually so so good this is the before this is the after i cannot believe this i i think i think there's um yeah there's just <laughs> uh the time is running out for people who are ignoring ai like i'm 100 percent convinced the time is running out for anyone who is ignoring ai yeah i mean the image quality is so much better i know that some of the design stuff like well, the shadows and some of that obviously are not the best but e like it's just insane all right let me just save this image as well why would we even get into more um why would we even get more into the workflow when when we have new workflows like this like i'm not even gonna teach and and bore you with material configurations and all that look at these images just look at these images this is insane this is insane you guys are you guys are i don't know witnesses to how long this took to create you are witnessing how long this took to create. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts, questions or anything like that. And yeah, join the Realistic Rendering Premium community to learn artificial intelligence for architecture. And I'll happily see you inside. I'm speechless right now.